What's up guys? It's Drew with Drew Does Trucks. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about accurately scaling your truck and your trailer by taking them across to CAT certified scales. I know this sounds intimidating. No one wants to be the only one at the truck stop in a dinky little pickup truck and a camper. But guess what? Truckers need accurate weights so they rely on CAT scales and you need to do the same thing because you have to know what you weigh so you know what you can safely carry and you know what you need to upgrade or change to safely carry what you already have. If you want to know more about that and what maybe your truck can safely carry and safely tow, check out this video above where I talk about how easy it is once you get your weights to accurately figure out what your actual payload capacity is and what your actual tow capacity is. They're not always as intuitive or easy to get as you would like. You may have to do a little bit of math, but with the calculator built into your smartphone and the numbers that we're going to get today at the scales, it's a quick five minute process. All right, I want to show you guys what Cat has for app, apps on the App Store for Apple or on the Android. Now, they have two available applications. This particular one here is called the Cat Scale app. <clears throat> this is going to use your location that you provide with your phone's GPS, and it's going to show you the closest Cat Scales to you. All you got to do is hit Near Me Now. It'll pop up with a list of nearby Cat Scales. Fortunately for us, we have one that's only a couple miles away. If you select it, it's going to give you the option of getting directions with your choice of Apple Maps, Google Maps, Waze, or even MapQuest. Now, that's great for locating one, but what you need in order to actually use the scales is the Weigh My Truck app from CAD. And that's what it looks like both in the Apple Store and on Android. Now, when you click on this, you want to go ahead and create a user profile, which it's going to prompt you to do whenever you download the app. You'll enter your home address your profile information and save a credit card to it and that's going to allow you to access the scales without having to go inside and talk to the waymaster at the truck stop this is great for getting over the embarrassment of that a lot of people feel or the anxiety of having to interact with an environment that you're not familiar with for most of us um, at a truck stop it's also way way faster you don't even have to get out of your tow vehicle to get your accurate weights so once you show up to your scale, all you have to do is type in the scale information. That's going to be on the board that's next to the scale. Everywhere you pull up, it'll be out your driver's window. So the particular rig that we're driving today is a 2017 F350 Crew Cab Diesel Lariat. I've scaled this rig in the past with me in it, and it's weighed around um, 9,100 pounds. The camper that we're towing today is a 2017 Wolfpack 25 Pac-12 Toy Hauler. It has dual six lug axles and Wolfpack rates it with a dry rate, a dry weight of around 8,800 pounds. They list it as a max weight of just over 11,000 pounds. However, the variance between those numbers is due to the 2,000 pound capacity in the garage for a toy such as a Polaris Razor, which we have, and also a small 12 foot boat that we can put in there when we go over to the bay. Our four seat razor weighs around 1200 pounds and the boat probably weighs in right about the same with it on the trailer and the motor on. This trailer has two 5,080 pound rated axles. They're actually 6,000 pound axles. Um, they just have rated them at 5,080 pounds. If you do the math, the max gross weight of this camper at just around just over 11,000 pounds actually exceeds the rated weight of those axles because Forest River is assuming that you're going to put 10 to 15 or 20 percent on the tongue of the trailer to prevent trailer sway. In this case this particular camper is loaded as if we were going camping without any of our major power sport accessories. So there are a couple bikes in the garage. Um, there are a couple bag chairs and just the typical stuff that we would take camping, a uh, Weber grill, that kind of stuff. But there's no nothing really heavy like a boat or four-wheeler, a motorcycle, or a razor in the back. So this is a pretty accurate like dry weight for us for the camper setup the way we're gonna go camping. Alright, this particular cat scale is at the local Flying J truck stop, which you can see up here on the left. So most truck stops will have a car entrance and a truck entrance. If you are towing a camper, you want to roll the cat scales, you have to go in the truck entrance. Turn left, then your destination will be on the right. So as you can see, we have all of our fuel pumps here. And then all the way to the right, we have our cat scale entrance. 
And just like I was hoping, on the, right. the Catskills are open. So we are going to open our app. We're going to go away my truck. So we're rolling forward here. We are on the scales and on our intercom sign here, we'll have a location, which in this case is 1521. So we enter our location number, we hit accept. This is my company, my tractor number, my trailer number. Um, which you have to complete all fields on this, so I'll just put truck and trailer number one. Um, accept. Accept your fee, which like I said, we already have our payment information saved in here. And we're waiting for the Waymaster to accept our payment. Um, here we go. So it's just that easy. This has my steer, my drive, and my trailer axle, which um, I'll hop out here and I'll show you. See, there's no one in line for the scale, so I'm not holding anybody up. But see, we have a pad here. This is for the front axle. We have this pad here. It goes all the way from the running board on my truck back to the beginning of the trailer. So it'll fit your rear axle no matter what you're driving. If it's a pickup truck or an SUV or a semi truck like these ones. And then your trailer pad goes the rest of the way back. So if you have a really, really short camper, you may have to stay all the way back and get out of your, get out of your vehicle to use the intercom because your camper axle may end up being right here. For this particular camper, which again is 37 feet long, we have no problem pulling all the way forward. And as you can see, we have the, the three pads. There's also this fourth pad in the back if you have an exceptionally long trailer, which this guy right here hauling this uh, rock drilling machine might need, but we don't. So it's just that easy to get your weights. And um, we can go inside now and get our printed ticket if we want to. But if you want to do that, you got to hop off the scale. Or we can roll forward to our truck parking area, which is down this way. We can drop our trailer. And then we will get, then we will get our truck weights without the camper. And that way you know exactly what your camper weighs and what it's adding to the truck. So essentially by subtracting the two, it'll give you your camper and your truck weights. So I've got a fella in front of me using the scales. So he just rolled through. Okay. Now, this the app should, uh, okay, here we go. The app should immediately recognize that this is a reway because it's the same account doing the same location. So 1521 is our location number done, except this will be our reway. Same information, except. So you only get charged $3 for your reway. You're waiting for your Waymaster to accept your ticket. I'm just looking back, we're making sure that we are on our separate pads for front and rear, which we are. And here we go, 9,280 pounds. So not completely empty, but we've picked up a little weight since the last time I had this truck weighed. 
and we will go ahead and go pick up our trailer. Um, I'm gonna go home on our print my scale tickets out, check out my setup, and um, we'll see if everything's set up exactly the way we want, or if we need to make some adjustments, put some weight on or off of our weight distribution bars. Fortunately, this setup is adjustable, so we can do that to achieve our optimal weight distribution. We're also gonna check those loaded weights against our truck's rated axle weights. Make sure we're not overweight on either of our axles or any of our trailer axles. So hopefully this will help you out. As you can see, it takes more time to talk about rolling the CAD scales than it does just to show up and get your weight. So your initial weigh is only 13 bucks and to get your reweigh, which has your breakdown of your truck and trailer weight, if you compare them side by side, it's just an additional $3 if you do it within, I think it's within 24 hours at the same location. So get your stuff weighed, make sure that you're safe, make sure that you're legal, stay safe and have fun everybody. I will see you out on the highways and byways. This is Drew Does Trucks. I'll see you guys on the next video.